Hello, Mr. Rudis. First of all, absolute pleasure and honor to be able to communicate with you and obviously help you on your um, path of becoming a best guitar player in the world. Uh, it's been a lot of fun following your progress. Let's jump into this. So I'll show you like some of the basic shapes that I'm using for each mode or for different tensions that I'm trying to, to um, capture. So for example, for Ionian, uh, Dorian, um, Phrygian, I rarely use this one. Sounds fun. Um, Mixolydian, which can also be this. Um, Aeolian. Also be this. Um, also this for Aeolian, but it's kind of stretchy. So if you're not sitting comfortably, or if you're if you're not com comfortable with that stretch, it's kind of kind of tricky to you know to catch, especially if you're like improvising and all that. I would usually op opt out for the. Which will give me kind of a different flavor without the minor third, um, but fourth instead. But it's much easier to play. Ah. Um, and then Locrian. For diminished, that's the one. Um, sometimes I would do the major here. Sounds weird anyway, so why not get even weirder? Those are the basic ones. Technique-wise, I you can go just legato or make it. More staccato and maybe control your volume with the volume knob with your pinky. Maybe something like this. Having harmonics on top. I'm not really pressing this, just touching them. That's something maybe I can work on. I have never done this, so. That's the idea, but these are not obviously for just like that type of sing sequence type playing. You can use this to move from one position to another, um, like this direction, very useful. For example, yeah. Um, looking forward to see you shred to this very soon. <laughs> um, probably even faster and cleaner and better than myself. Um, yeah, talk soon.